Oh, look at that. And another engine. Very, very lucky. Oh, beautiful. Oh! Oh, shit! Welcome back to more Romero mods. Since the last episode, I've been gathering resources, making cobblestone rocks, getting a lot of building materials together so we can continue on our base between episodes. Maybe a little bit here or there um, on an episode. But before we get started today, one of the questions that came up is what is the point of this base if headshots is all that matters? Now, first of all, body damage does, does damage. Yeah, so it's only one HP though. So if I shoot a zombie into the belly, I get one damage. And the same for turrets. If you have loads of turrets, they can do headshots occasionally, but mainly for the body. So it would be a waste of ammunition. Now, what this base is mainly used for in Romero mod, for me, the way I intend to use it, is control flow. So I have maximum zombies alive set to 200, um, but I think each horde, that spawns i think every time you log in after midnight um every two hours you have a horde spawning basically i think it's 30 uh, large but i think it could be 60 i'm not 100 percent sure uh, 30 or 60 but either way in total 200 zombies alive means you could end up in a scenario where in a house lots of zombies are around and a horde spawns a roaming horde and boom or blood moon horde we have up to 64 zombies um at any one time plus the a wandering horde plus random zombies so you could get quite a lot and this is for control flow so they come up here and because they're always walking which is another thing in romero mod in case you have missed it you can't set them to any speed other than walking so you can actually have them walk across here simple as that while you sit in your base and just pick them off like pack 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 and that's it now another thing i want to try is i will have a melee turret here uh, one of those junk turrets, the melee version, to push the zombies down. So if the turret pushes the zombies down here, on that side, I'm trying to push them down on this side, we will try to test blade traps. So if we have a blade trap here and here, in between all the blocks, of course, and say we have like uh, something that pushes them down here, they fall down, they want to go back to the stairs. So wherever they would path to go back to the stairs, we're going to make sure that there's blade traps. And theoretically... If they are head height, they should do a lot of damage. So they walk through them. We're going to put a block here so they actually have to. They're forced to kind of walk through here or something. We're going to put something here. And um, if, if we can make them walk through here, they're going to hopefully get the full-blown damage of the trap. That's something I have to test. I actually don't know if that works, but hopefully it will. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're still going to be spending a lot of time outside during Horde Nights as well. The only reason we need a base is because A, for looks. B, also vultures could be there. So you could actually find a need for being indoors somewhere when vultures are coming. But otherwise, we're going to have a lot of fun with controlling the zombies in and out of the base, fighting them while we are outside at Horde Night and so on. Now... We have a gun that we got at the end of the last episode, which is this AK-47, the juicy AK-47. We have a lot of bullets, so why don't we head over to our next um, clear quest and have a little bit of fun and see if we can get that quest tier 2 unlocked and that new trader as well today. It's Big Mama on the ground. Let's go and get Big Mama. Oh, she's taking a lot. Let's take the gun out, even if it's gonna be loud. Let's make some noise. Oh, wow. Big Mama is uh, taking a beating. I'm surprised nobody's waking up here. Hello? Oh, I didn't even see you there. Hello, putrid girl. Okay, we have, we have some customers coming from the outside. That's not good. Okay, I think we're literally gonna... Ha we have the roaming horde due, I think. The roaming horde should start to spawn at midnight, so... We might have to deal with that. Oh, what do we have here? Okay. Let's open up, I guess. Come on, show me your face. There we go. Show me that pretty face of yours. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, wow. Oh my balls! Whoa, where did he come? Oh, hello! That's where he came from. 
I think we can go upstairs actually on the other side. There's nothing here. Let's go and head over here. There is the desk. Oh, there's actually some food here. Very nice. Oh, coffee. Beautiful. And then we have this place here. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Loads of ammunition. That is great. And there's the treasure chest. So what do we get? We get a book. Sniper, breathing, learn how to hold your breath, eliminate all barrel, sway and nail your targets. Nice. Um, yeah, we're going to destroy that. This we're going to repair and keep. There we go. And take the beautiful ammunition with us. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, look at that. Level six. Nice. We're going to keep that. Beautiful. What do we have here on the wall? Okay, primitive bow. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's it was stronger by a point or not. Let's see. Oh, lovely. Absolutely perfect. All right, there's nothing on the roof, nothing left. Let's go. Okay, this is very interesting. We got something tasty right here. Um, besides this, obviously, which is really, really nice, and it only takes two hits to take apart, we have something in the back of the truck, it seems. It seems like there's a bit of a chest or something. Let me have a look. There is a bag, and I think there's a chest underneath. Let me just get rid of this here and get a closer look. What do we have here? Look at that. Nice. Okay, we have a box here, and we have a weathered bag. What is in the bag? Ah, some ketchup. Oh, new cooking recipes and a working tool stiffy box. Nice. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. We got another scrap iron fire axe, and we got a level 3 scrap iron pickaxe. I have a level 4 now which is much better. And let's have a look at this, actually. If we take the mods out, so this is the new one, this is the existing one. Existing one is 19. Oh, look at this. This one is 2241. Wow. This one is much better. Now, this one has more durability, but holy cow, look at the strength of that. So modify that, bam, bam, and we got ourselves a new axe. That is really, really good. Also, I just noticed I got another point. I know there's other things we need to invest in, but right now i think it would be very good while we have our glasses on for the intelligence i think it's coming from our glasses to actually put a point into daring adventurer to get two additional choices oh hello there i didn't see you come in there coffee i take the coffee thank you very much rockbusters actually i'm going to buy those and that is because in between episodes i am actually doing a little bit of a resource grind which right now, this is coming in very handy. And we got an additional two. There we go. Look at that. So definitely go with the bullets. The great heist. The motivation is the best loot to realize automated defenses like motion sensors, ultras, motion jacket devices will not recognize you for three seconds when sneaking in. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. But we're going to take the ammunition. Thank you very much. And what job do you have? Do you have now... Oh, we don't have the tier two job just yet. But there's some buried supplies actually very close by, so we might as well do them quickly. We might as well do both of them really quickly. Yeah, nothing anymore to get at the trader. I think we already checked that one out, and there's not really anything to sell right now. We want to sell our gear like when we have like um, modifications to put in. That way we increase the value by a lot and make a lot more money. So let's go southwest corner. and Let's see what we get. Probably just food, but maybe we're also going to get an awesome recipe of something. Here we go. Nice. We have, oh, new recipe, rock candy recipe. Readings will help you craft this item, a rock candy. Okay, let's use it. Let's take everything else. Let's see, rock candy. Rock candy, what does it give us? Okay. It seems to be, I thought it was candy that we can craft like that. Uh, gives us a, a buff or something like the other candy, but this is, this seems to be just food. Let's hand it in, let's see. Whatever you need. Scope times two, that would be interesting. And it would be an add-on to our gun. So I think we can put it in. Oh, scope time two. And yes, we did enough quests now. We unlocked the next one. So let's get the cooling mesh. And let's put the cooling mesh in here. There we go. And we doubled the money. Very good, I like it. Now let's also modify this and let's put the scope in. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Absolutely fantastical. So now we should get the tier two trader quest. Got any special jobs? Yes, 1.5 kilometers away. We definitely should check it out. And then we're gonna also see what the other trader has to offer. But um, let's see, we can also take a job here. Um, where is this guy? It's 1.5 kilometers to... 
The east. Okay, so do we have any jobs that far to the east? Um, 1.3 kilometers to the east. Okay, Let's do that. It's on the way. Ahead. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, hello there. Nice, beautiful. Okay, this is interesting. I just stopped by to empty everything and I have exactly eight sewing kits. Now, if I look at my clothes, my um, jacket, my shirt and my trousers, that's one, two, three, and I thought there was four items. And I think I could make four pocket mod, uh, pocket uh, mods, double pocket mods. Oh, we're able to make 14 glue, that's not bad. So we're just gonna do that, get the rest of the recipe together. Okay, I'm only gonna make three because I, for some reason I thought we had four pieces of clothing, but the bandana actually, it doesn't have a pocket. So you can't actually put anything in there except cosmetics. So, which makes sense because you replace it with the cigar eventually. So, but let's queue up some pockets. Also, um, I'm going to put the improved fittings mod into here because I don't really have a penalty on my movement right now. So I don't really read it right now, which means this goes up to 1,100. We're going to take that with us in case we're going to find another mod cheap at the trader. We can pop in there and then we're going to make this, what, 1,500, something like that. That should be really good. So let's have, let's have a look. We can put pockets into here. Excellent. Go, we have another couple of glue. And then the next pockets are gonna go into the shirt. Excellent. And then I think the last one into the duster. Yeah, I thought for some reason there was four. There we go, two birds, one stone. We have our quest here and look at that right here beside the quest. Oh, there is the trader. That is amazing. Okay, where's the official entrance? It has to be the back door, just in case there's doggos. Okay, I don't hear dogs, which is good. Is there something down there in the water? Oh, it was nothing. I got tricked. That's not good. I hope there's no zombies coming in. Oh, that's very good. I like it. Military armor. Hello? Okay, nobody coming in here. This is where the torch, the flash torch is. Let's open that. What do we have here. Oh, very nice. And then we're gonna go in through the tires, is it? Oh, through the open window. I love it. Okay, we're not gonna fit through the window. There we go. There we go, beautiful. Look at that, she thought she could sneak up on us. But joke is on her. I was absolutely prepared for that. Nice. Okay, so let's actually have a quick look. It seems to be, oh, look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, scrap machete, nice. Some machete action. Okay, what's going on? Why is the things breaking? Why is the things falling apart? Let's actually have a quick look and see up there, up there on the ladder. Okay, is there anything here? Oh, yes, there is. Nice. Oh! Holy crap, Apple, she was in the ceiling. No, let's go, use handcuffs. There we go, fisticuffs. There we go, very nice. Nobody hiding in the bathroom. Okay, we're going to take this. Plastic, always appreciated. Very nice. Anything of interest? I mean, this is a clear quest. Oh, nice. Mustard, beautiful. We have mustard minus ketchup. We're actually finding them now. Very nice. A little bit of milk there. Very nice. Can't wait to try out all those cooking recipes. What do we have in here? Oh, beautiful. Okay, anything in the fridge? No, fridge is not for looting. Let's see what we have in the cupboard. More milk. Okay, nice ketchup. Oh, this is lovely. I love this. So ketchup is... Oh, we actually use it? Oh, I thought it was for a recipe. Oh, the, the this is for a recipe, for the bam sandwich. So if this is not for a recipe, I don't think we need to pick it up. I think we're actually okay leaving it. And this is just for use as well. I have no idea what that is. That is Thumbs Anti-Acid. It has zero properties. I have no idea what it's for. It does nothing. And that's water and stamina region. Oh, glass of milk, look at that. We have it in a recipe for butter, cheese, and whipped cream. Yeah, we're going to hang on to that. The apple is just for eating. Oh, that's very good. We're going to straight away devour that. Beautiful, let's go. Oh, so let's keep going. So what do we have up here? 
Probably have a bird or something on the roof. Not really sure, but before we go up there, let's have a look through here. There we go, beautiful! Oh, this was the right room to be in. Oh, yes! Oh, hello there! How are you? Trying to get through... Oh, oh yes! Oh, I love it! Okay, we have some action here, obviously. There we go. Bam! Oh, beautiful. Anybody else coming in? No, not yet. Yes! Okay, so let's see what we get in the bookstores, in the bookshelves. Oh, very sexy. Bats. Back in the days, baseball bats were all the rage. Sure, gonna take that and reading the... Oh, hello. Thank you! <laughs> what did we have here? Sorry, I was perusing the shelves. Reading the schematic will teach you how to craft this item. The quality... Oh, we can make the wooden bow. That is amazing. Let's use it. I mean, we're not gonna focus on bows, but still, it's very nice to have one. Yes! First aid bandages. Beautiful. Coyotes, the desert dwelling here, doing more, more damage to coyotes. I don't think we were gonna find ourselves going to the desert that willingly, unless it's for oil shale. Okay, so is that it? Okay, let's get this guy. And we already killed all the zombies. Return to trader, very good. Yeah, this is really strange. This has zero properties, but when I eat it or drink it, nothing actually happens to me. Like, there is literally zero effect on me. So it's really weird. All right, I'm glad we got that out of the way. What do we have here? Okay, we're gonna repair that. Oh, that is nice, muffled connector. Oh, that is sweet, look at this. So this muffled connector here, we can put that into here, which is a level five scrap armor, which gives us now is the third modifier, 1,490. That is amazing. So this is a fully modded piece we're going to sell. That is beautiful. Is there anything else in here? Let's check out the other rooms. I know we're done, but we might as well have a quick look if there's any more crates that we can look uh, loot. Oh, nice acid. That's for wheels because the next thing we want to do is get a motorbike where we have got a point in a second So I think grease monkey level two is gonna be the next thing we have to do. Hello there, Charlie How are you? Nice seeing you here. Okay, surprised open house. Okay, there you go It's an open house. See people can't resist the open house. It's just the way it is Okay, what do we have here? Um, just some clothes. Okay, we're gonna scrap that Radiator, we could take that for brass and um, get, ooh, look at that, scrap boots. Yeah, we're gonna sell them as well, thank you very much. Oh, a bear. Let's see if we can kill it. Yes, oh, that is beautiful. That is a lot of meat and we get testosterone, which is gonna be amazing for crafting recipes as well. There's that anti-acid again that nobody needs. Nobody's asking for it. I wonder if that's an unfinished recipe or if that was planned for a recipe or it's for maybe a different mod. Um, I have seen it before that some mods put recipes or items into a mod that are not useful for the mod itself, but actually are useful for other mods. So that could literally be it. Okay, we're gonna have to find a quick way of... Yes, excellent. Look at that beauty. Okay, what is this in there? I don't think we have been in there. Yeah, we killed the zombies that were coming out of, but that's it. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. Gotta, gotta do what a man gotta do. Give that headshot a... Go here, let's go. Okay, let's close the door just so no bad guys come in. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, we have a medical pile. Some clothes here. Okay, we can scrap them. And nothing more of interest here. Oh, hello. Thank you. Gotta love that AK-47. It's a game changer. Absolutely fantastical. Okay, anything we missed here? I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Gonna get that deliciousness of that bear. There we go, very nice. Yes, testosterone, beautiful. And we got some meat. Let's put all the goodness back in here. Excellent. And, oh, hello there. Challenge your woodle, say hi. <laughs> go back where you came from. And here we go, look at that, beautiful. Oh, does he have any vending machine goodness? No, he has more rock busters, but he doesn't have um, the sugar butts. Oh, yes. Can we use it? Do we have any lockpicks? We have lockpicks on us. Very good. I didn't even realize that. Very lucky first lockpick. And we had 10 left. Oh, how did you get in? I closed the door. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can destroy things. This is this type of game. Ooh, set you on fire, baby. There we 
go. Very nice. Woo! You're not safe in a trader anymore. Keep forgetting about that. Let's see what's in the gun safe. Oh, look at that. A pipe pistol. That is amazing. We can sell that. We can sell that. And we're going to take that. Beautiful. Look at that. 400. Oh, that is nice. And this is 280. Here is your reward. Okay, thank you very much for the reward. Uh, do you have any jobs to the west? Oh, yes. Look at that. All the way to the west. That is exactly what we need because this is where we are coming from. So we're going to go right back there. And do I see your inventory? You have a bicycle. Oh, my balls. Look at that. You have a GNX chassis. Ooh. Okay, he has the extended magazine. I think that works for my gun. We have to get that. Absolutely beautiful. Is there any mods I can... Oh, motorcycle chassis schematic. Only 1,600. Okay, I think we should get that. I think we should get that. Let me see. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay, let's get that. Um, the anvil is 480 and it's forged crafting speed. Yeah, we're going to take that. Pleasure okay, now business. we learn that. Beautiful. And let's see if we can put that magazine in there. Yes. Oh, that is nice. And it gives us extra damage as well. Now, what do we can put in? 30 goes to... 45 very nice an extra 15 bullets that is beautiful okay i don't think there's anything else he has here that's of any interest to us right now so we're going to sell all the stuff right here there you go 280 400 226 very nice and we go we're back to 5100 we actually didn't loot the place at all so let's see if there's any working machinery here what do we have here the forge oh the forge is working that's very good Oh, let me see. It should be in here. And, ah, oh, it's not working. But, because we can destroy things, we can take it apart, get some forged iron. Very, very nice. I like it. We have a cement machine. It's also not working. But again, take it apart. It gives us some forged iron as well. And some mechanical parts. Always appreciate it. Okay, we get some more forged iron here from the workbench. We also have three cars here we're going to take apart. I mean, we have the space in our inventory right now. And we don't really need to worry about having more space because we're going back home. But... As we go back home, if we look at our quest here for a second, so the quest we're going to have to bring back is to our trader, which is here. But then we have a quest to the west up here, which is the tier 2 clear quest, which is really, really cool. Our base is here. This is literally around the corner, so we can bring it back and then come back here. So if we're lucky, we can get another quest to the east, do that on the way, and then we can kind of ping pong, as I said earlier, around, which is going to be awesome. So let's go and get a little bit of uh, gasoline, get some parts, get some oil, good shenanigans, and then we're going to head home. And here's our point, and let's put that into Grease Monkey. There we go. And now we can make the mini bike. So if we look at what we need actually for the mini bike, okay, we have all of that, no problem. We have all of that actually, that's no problem either. And then we can make the mini bike an engine and a battery. I think that's okay. We're gonna get more cars. Wheels shouldn't be a problem because look at this. We have bottles of acid, which we can use to make wheels. We have all those ingredients as well. We're gonna keep an eye out for coal on the way. Should be no biggie. And everything else we have. Yeah, we're gonna take a couple of cars and school buses apart on the way. Let's see if we get lucky with an engine or a battery. I think we have an engine and battery at home, but just in case, I'm going to try to get one on the way home. There's a few more cars and caravans and stuff like that there in the back. So we should get lucky, hopefully. Yeah, nothing here. Don't think we got lucky at all. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your concern, but um, yes, I still need this engine. <laughs> Oh, we got a battery right here. Very nice. Ooh, that was very lucky. He would have done the touchy so bad. You could see it. He just wanted to do the touchy so terribly bad. Oh, here we go. We got an engine. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that. And another engine. Very, very lucky. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh shit. Oh, mother of... Oh, what the hell? What is with those guys? What is this animal control? What the hell? Okay, let's actually apply um, a bandage. Very good. And do we have any honey on us? No, but I think I have some on my bicycle. Holy crap, Apple. 
Out of everything. Yeah, it's not the zombies you have to worry about. Holy shiznitch. Give me such a heart attack. I did not... I, I, I would have thought, like, I could hear a growl before anything else. But no, 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 no. It just came straight for the throat. It didn't even hesitate. Holy crap, Apple. Okay, let's finish this off. Maybe we get another engine, another battery. That would, it would be great. A battery. We deserve another battery. Come on. Another battery? Taste a little battery? Or maybe another engine? No. All right. That's okay. I'm gonna go home. I'm out of here. This is it. Holy balls on a cracker. Oh, lucky. We actually had one jar of honey with us. Very, very nice. Ah! Oh, genie, Mac. What is with all these sneaky... I mean, a, a, a zombie sneaking, I can kind of understand. But holy crap, a bear sneaking up on you like that, the size of it. All right, let's see what we're going to get as a reward. I cleared out the vending machine downstairs. Loads and loads of goodies. It must be let's have a look. Day. Molotov cocktails. Yeah, the not finding them very useful. Um, the splitter mod, that's actually not bad, but we already have it, I think, in here. No, actually, we don't. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we can put one of the mods actually on our pickaxe then. Nice. Okay, so let's take that. And do you have any other jobs to the west? Okay, you have a fetch and clear quest. It's only 800 meters away. That's actually very close. Let's take that. And it's a tier two, which is always sexy. And let me see. Day 13. You're... Actually, I think your loot just refreshed. Ooh, robotic sledge. Yes! That's actually exactly what I'm looking for. For my base, but it's very expensive. Oh, an armor pack mod. I'm gonna take that. Thank you very much. And grave digger mod. I'm gonna take that. Thank you. I'm going to buy the AK for 400 and then scrap it for parts because that way we can eventually, when we level up, craft a much better AK 47 than we have right now. I'm gonna take the structural brace mod and the motorcycle. Oh, boss. Look at that motorcycle chassis, motorcycle handlebars. <gasps> 6,000. Okay, hang That's on a right, second. Stranger. Hang on a second. If we can buy the handlebars, that is it. We can make a motorcycle instead. That would be so awesome. Okay, we're gonna need to sell stuff. We're gonna need to think about what we can sell here. Um, I, I even sell my soul. I actually don't mind. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. I'm gonna, I put in all the, um, all the tools and parts that I had in my tools. We're gonna sell that and we're gonna sell that. And now we have the 6,000s. We're gonna sell the motorcycle handlebars. I really want the gyrocopter chassis schematics as well. We're gonna get them. But yeah, that's it. We can make a motorcycle now. That is really, really amazing. And we also can put a pocket mod in here. If we want, let's put one in the helmet. There we go. That's an extra slot. Beautiful. And now let's go down. Says we're gonna have to make new tools now. And um, we can only make level four tools, but that's okay. Let's see where all these zombarinos coming from. You're making a lot of noise. You're just by yourself, dude. All right, let's see if we can make that motorcycle. Okay, we craft the wheels. And I think we can put one queued up here. There we go. Excellent. That's two wheels. Now for the motorcycle, I have all the ingredients for the chassis except some steel, but I know where we can get some from. I um, have all the other ingredients for the motorcycle itself. So we need the two wheels. We need the chassis, the handlebars. I have that. We need one engine and one battery. So we have one engine here, bada bing, bada bam, and then we have one battery. There we go, beautiful. And we need to craft it on the workbench. But I have all the parts with me. Hello there. How are you doing, Charlie? Thanks for stopping by. Um, sorry, we are closed actually right now, so I would appreciate if you could not be here. That would be great. Okay, so where are we gonna get some steel from? I show you now. You see these street lights? There's a few of them around here. There's one over there, there's another one over there. And the top of the straight lights, it doesn't matter if this is made of wood or not, but the top of the straight lights is made from deliciousness. There we go. Look at that. One steel already. So we have 13, we need 37. I think we get two or three, um, sometimes even more out of this. Oh, we only got one out of that. Okay, that was bad luck. But we're going to take apart the other ones and see how much we're going to get. Oh, very nice. And if you come across these things here... Definitely scrap them as well with the wrench. You get some more steel from them as well. And I think with these ones, you could get lucky and get like three steel. Oh, it's only one as well. Got some forged iron as well though. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, that was another forged iron. We have 27 steel now. I'm going around. I destroyed a lot of them. Some of these actually gave me zero as well, but luckily we have a lot around. 
So we're nearly there. There's no point trying to make the mini bike if we can make the better motorcycle already. I mean, this is just perseverance. We just have to go and find enough of those guys. Well, I'm picking up a trash heap safe every now and then. Can't be wrong. Let's see what's in it. Ah, oh, ammunition. That's not bad. There we go. Another safe. Oh, look at that. Very nice. That might actually be worth a few quid. There we go. 226. Very, very nice. Okay, we have 36. We need one more. Can we get a second one from this one? It doesn't look like it. But there's another one. Ah, oh, there's another three over there. Yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. Here we go. The last one. Yes. Very nice. And we got an extra one. That is absolutely beautiful. Now we have 37. <laughs> I don't know. I probably destroyed about 30 of those. Um, so we can make the chassis now. That is absolutely fantastic. We got loads of iron though in the process, which is great. There we go. Let's go home and craft. Okay, chassis. Oh, here's the wheel. So chassis. Queued up. Okay, chassis is done. And now, motorcycle. Okay, I think it's time to put another point into Brawler. And see if we can make an upgraded knuckle buster. We can make iron knuckles now. Level 4. Very nice. That would be an upgrade. I think 30 forged iron. We got that. Can we craft it in our inventory? I think so. So here we go. We have the forged iron. Mechanical parts. There we go. Um, some leather. And what is the last bit? Some duct tape. Five duct tape? Ooh, just shy one duct tape. Okay, let's see if we can make one more. Oh, hello. Thank you. Let's see if we can make one more dirty word, dirty, dirty, dirty water. There we go. Look at that. And we can make some glue from that. And um, let's make 20 glue. Absolutely. Beautiful. There we go. Iron knuckles. And while they're crafting, let's have a look at the bike, which is finished in 10 seconds. Oh, that's amazing. So we not only went from bicycle to an upgrade. No, 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 no. It went all the way up to a motorcycle, which has a phenomenal amount of space inside as well. So let's make sure we have about uh, 5,000 oil with us. So gas cans, very, very nice. The, a lot of these gas cans came actually from downstairs. Oh, there we go. There's the sexy beast. There's the sexy beast. Let's have a look at her. She is a beauty. There we go. Okay, look at that. And look at the storage. Mwah. Oh, that is pure. Oh, testosterone there. In the back, sexy time. Okay, <laughs> let's fill her up. Boom. There we go. Look at that. And it's the Knuckle Buster ready. Knuckle Buster is crafting. Let's take out this modifier here. We don't need you right now. We're going to scrap you already. And let's have a look. Have a little test drive. There's actually a... Oh. Oh. Dude. Pure bliss. No longer do we have to conserve, conserve energy. We can now step off a bike and straight away get into the action. Pop those heads. Oh. Shoot those zombies. Punch them in the face without having to worry. Oh, I just pedaled. I have no energy. And look how fast this is. This is amazing. Let's go and get that airdrop. Very Oh, yes, look at that. Tokyo Drift all the way. <laughs> See, oh, tactical assault rifle. Mwah! Oh, that goes, I think that's actually for us. That's actually what we put points into. That is amazing. Oh, and the extended magazine. This is an absolute dream of a crate. So let me see here. Oh, look at that. This is nearly finished. So assault rifle, tactical assault rifle, machine gun parts. Oh my God, I think we actually have seven machine gun parts. I'm not sure, I could be wrong, but I think we do. Is our knuckle buster ready? Yes, our knuckle buster is ready. Modify that, put that in, beautiful. Here we go. And now this baby is gonna do a hell of a lot more damage than the last one. So let's go. Let's have a quick look and see how many mechanical parts, uh, machine gun parts we have. So we actually have six machine gun parts. If we scrap this, there would be another three, there would be nine. So we would have enough. However, I do think we should hang on until we level up a little bit more because right now, um, being able to make level two is okay, is good, but I think we should wait until we can make level five, which is the maximum. And that means we have to get maximum points in machine gunner. I think, let me see, this is level four, I think. Quality five. 
yeah, quality five is the highest. So we need to get to level seven here. That's two more points in fortitude. I think there's glasses for fortitude as well. And um, perception, intelligence. Yeah, there is classes for fortitude as well. We're going to have to find them. And that means we actually only need one more point in fortitude for seven. And then we can get... So if we get fortitude to seven, one with classes, one to purchase. Oh, that's actually two points to purchase. Okay, so that's two points to purchase. One with the glasses. We get for free. So that's two. And then three. Four. And five. So the next five points, if we focus them completely on Machine Gunner, we can have some serious fun. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. This was absolutely fantastic. What an amount of progress. Like, we got an absolute amazing schematic for amazing weapon. And we got very lucky that we put, after we put a point in Grease Monkey, we got lucky to find the chassis, for, uh, the chassis recipe and we found the handlebars for sale. That was absolutely fantastic. Having a motorcycle with such amount of huge storage means we can go and do some quest runs without having to worry at all about the amount of space that we need to save. So this is really fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time with it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Until then, as always, fresh pass and happy gaming.